Namaste beautiful yogis. Today we're doing a continuation of a classic workout. We did this four years ago, Thanksgiving, in celebration of Thanksgiving, of a holiday coming up. And you guessed it, it's going to be a lot of planks. It is a tough one. And I'm going to be demonstrating everything before we do it. Feel free to join me during the demonstration or just watch the demonstration and then hop in. It is going to be 10 repetitions of age and every exercise. It is going to be a lot of planks. And please watch my wrist alignment tutorial before you begin so that you know that you're aligning your wrist properly. That way you can get through the workout. If you need to modify things, modify them. If you need to do certain planks on your elbows, do that on your forearms please do that pull your belly in throughout the entire workout and really breathe and focus on connecting contracting the tba the deep abdominal wall for more workouts like this come to my website alikamenoga.com where i have weekly new uploads ongoing schedules more than 400 already full-length yoga and fitness classes I hope to see you there. Let's begin. Let's begin. Starting at the front of the mat. Inhale the hands over the head. Exhale, diving down. Inhale, look ahead of you. Pull the belly in. Step back, planks. Spread the fingers wide open. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward dog. Let's look between the hands, step your feet between the hands, hands behind your interlacing chair, soften the shoulders. Take the left leg in front of you, right leg in front of you, step it back. Step onto the right leg, step the left leg behind, open the chest, soften the shoulders, twist over to your right, open the arms out, hands in prayer, twist. Coming back up, chair, take the right leg back. Hands behind your interlacing, open, twist to your left. Open the arms out, hands in prayer, elbow on the outside of the left knee. Coming back out of this, step to the front. One more time, let's take the left leg back. Open the hands up towards the sky. Open them out, twist, reaching up. Reaching back up, chair. Take the right leg back. Open the arms out, twist. Reaching up. Reach up towards the sky, chair. Hands in prayer. Let's take the left elbow on the outside of the right knee. Changing sides. Back to center. Inhale, coming up. Shall we begin? All right. Nice straight back, forward bend. Pull the belly in. Hands down on the ground. Plank. From here, we're going to jump the feet out. That's the first repetition. Push up. Jump to the front and get up. All right, 10 of those. You can jump to plank or step back to plank. Let's go. Jump the feet out. Push up. Get up. One. Two. Push the hips forward, locking the hips. Three, straight back coming up. Four, keep the back straight as you get up. Five, pull the belly in. Six, steady. Seven. Eight, 
nine. Last one. From here, hands over the knees. Exhale, hollow your belly, vacuum. Inhale, one more vacuum. Next one, right arm up, exhale forward, bend, step back into one arm plank and step forward, get up, that's one rep, let's go. Two, feel free to lift either one hand overhead or both, either one would activate your core just in a, such a different way, but lifting your arm, I'm demonstrating the opposite side. Arm lift, keep going. Pull the belly in, really contracting the abdominal muscles. And locking the hips as you get up. And by locking the hips, I just mean extending the tailbone down. There is no hip locking. All right. I'm having fun with the arm lifts. Continuing, pull the belly in, coming all the way up, opposite side. Keeping the arms either both overhead or just one of them. Experiment, check it out, see how the elongation of the arm or lifting the arm overhead activates your core. I'm doing a voiceover here because I have a very, very noisy neighborhood. <laughs> I would love to use the bird sound more often, but I would like to keep the sound a little cleaner. Keep going, keep going. I'm watching you. <laughs> Don't be slacking, move fast. Really activating the core when you get up. That's where you retouch on your posture. Excellent. Next one is vacuum. Prepare for the next plank exercise. One more vacuum. Really hollowing the belly as you exhale. That will flatten your belly and give you that strong digestion. Take the right leg up and bring the knee to your wrist. Right over the mat. Back up. Bring the knee to your armpit. That's a one. Let's go. Two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven. Eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten opposite side. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Squeeze the abs, last one. Step to the front. Vacuum. Love my vacuums. They're really going to take your up strength to the next level. Hollow the belly, hollow it. Hands on the ground, plank. Here we're going to bring the knee between the hands, hovering the shin bone over the mat and then both knees together, kind of dragging, dragging the top of the feet forward as I demonstrated. Let's go. 
left to right knee both knees step it back this one is a killer left really keep your knees as low as you can it takes lots of effort from your core to support this both knees that's two three both knees four keep going even if I'm taking a break <laughs> five really hovering over the floor six a few more left a few more left building ups of steel seven beautiful eight Nine, last one, all right, eleven for just good measure. <laughs> and one last, great, vacuum. Time for a vacuum. That's how we are resting between planks and strengthening the core at the same time. Hollowing the belly. Inhale, coming up to standing. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look ahead of you. And take your right leg back, left leg forward, warrior two. Reversing the warrior, reaching up and over the head. Exhale, both hands down. Plank, Chaturanga, Up Dog, Exhale, Down Dog. Take the right foot forward, Warrior Two on the opposite side. Reverse it. Exhale, both hands down. Plank. Step your feet out and here I'm demonstrating we're going to lift opposite foot to hand 10 times, each reps on each side, both sides count as one. So 10 of those, give me 10, pull the belly in, do your best, this is a balancing exercise. It requires focus, drishti point, focusing on the point in front of you, steady breath. Drawing the belly in, wobbling maybe, that's okay. We're allowed to not be perfect. As a matter of fact, that that's a prerequisite for being a, an amazing yogi. All right, lower down onto your belly, clasp your hands behind you, lift your legs and shoulders off the floor here, strengthening the lower back. Look over to one side and over to the opposite side. Hands on the ground, press back downwards facing dog. Take your right leg up, step it between your hands. High lunge. Exhaling, down, step it back. Vinyasa, up dog, down dog. Take the left leg up, step it through, high lunge. Exhale down. Plank. Here we're going to bend the knee at 90 degrees as I'm demonstrating. I press the heel up while we're in plank. This is activating the glutes and the hamstrings, 10 of each. While we're working on the core. Opposite side. Really press, 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 press. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower down onto your belly, cobra. 
lower down, glass behind, lift up. Lift a little higher. From here, come up. And take a reverse plank. We're going to open one knee to the side, opposite knee to the side, working on flexibility and a reverse plank. So we're working on the posterior chain. Let's begin. One, one, two, two, three. Three, four, four lips, hips lifted, five, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, and turn forward. Stepping if you have a chair or a table, stepping onto a table, onto your elbows to give the wrist a break. Elevated plank, knee tucks, really low knee tucks. So hovering the knee over the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. One, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Side to side reaches. Two plank. Let's do out kicks. One. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five belly in, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. One more for good measure, and from here. We're going to press back into downward facing dog. Spread the fingers wide open, lift the right leg up, step your foot behind you while thin. Beautiful opposite side, taking the left leg up, bend the knee, step it back while thin, opening the chest, opening lifting the hips, lower down, drop the knees down and we're going to stretch the wrists as demonstrated. Finger tips pointed at you, palm of the hand up and then facing down. Press the wrist, outer and inner side of the wrist equally down into the floor. Great, hands down, step your feet to the front of the mat, yogic squat. You can clasp behind around each knee, opening the chest and softening the shoulders, looking up. Hands down on the ground, step back plank. From here we're going to grab the opposite knee with the hand and jump the feet to the front, jumping up. That is a one rep, give me ten. One knee to hand or hand to knee, hand to knee, jump up. That is a burpee variation. Keep going as quickly as you can, jumping up from a squat. Grabbing your knee with opposite hand. Great, lower down in yogic squat and again clasping the hands behind optional that can really open up your 
chest and shoulders. This is also a hip opener. I love the hip opener. Lay hands down on the ground, step it back. This time we're going to grab the shin bone with the same side hand and step the foot between into a lunge and jump back. And step it back just as demonstrated. Stepping it back, now you're doing a plank basically on the left hand and left foot. Grabbing the shin bone with the right hand, then stepping the right foot through and jumping up. Give me 10 of each side of those. They're challenging because there's a lot of balancing going on and a lot of core. And of course we're activating the glutes and the thighs with those long jumps. We can't miss on working a little bit on the legs as well. Even though it is planks giving celebratory activities. Almost there. Keep going, keep going. You can do it. You can do it. All right, opposite side. Move as fast as you can without compromising the alignment. This is difficult. The balancing here is challenging, challenging in a fun way. So continue, do your best. Don't be perfect, but do your best. That's always what counts. I noticed that in motherhood, that is the best attitude. Did I do my best today? Not was I perfect, but did I do my best? And that is a satisfying place for me. If I did all I could do, that's good. I feel good about it. There's no guilt. If I ask myself, was I perfect? The answer will always be no. So I see that as a nice way to look at life as well. Just do your best. All right, step to the front chair, lower your bum down onto the ground, and we're going to lay down in reverse plank on the elbows. Lift your hips, great. Lower down onto your back, hug one knee into the chest, bring your forehead to the knee, change sides, pulling the belly in, change sides, Change sides, really drawing the belly in, change, 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 and again. And let's bring both knees into the chest, rocking side to side, supine twist. Opposite side. Bridge pose. Feet pointing directly forward. Lift your body. Lift the hips. Soles of the feet together. Lay down. And take a few moments to enjoy. To enjoy your day. To become present to pause, to be still, to be completely aware of the present moment, grateful for the present moment, immersed in the present moment, and loving the present moment. Namaste.